A win will give Columbia its fourth winning record in five seasons. But it won't be easy. The Big Red of Cornell has a lot at stake as well. A victory secures their first winning campaign since 2005. It's Columbia against Cornell. A grand finale with Brent. And Bell has a clean pocket. He fires over the middle. And his wide open man is Marcus Lindman. First the goal at the two. Direct snap. And the Lions are going to push through. It's a touchdown for Columbia. And it is Joey Georgie finishing off what he started to put the Lions on the board first. He's got a clean pocket, throws over the middle, and it is going to be intercepted by Seth Parker. And the Lions are in Cornell territory down at the 15 as Seth Parker comes through with his first career interception. And they go again a third time, and this time it's a charm. Columbia with another rushing score, and this time... A pair of runs for 12 yards for Georgie. This time they fake it. Play action. Bell firing, and he has his man. Bryson Canty. Five, they have a second and goal. Already two rushing scores, and you could give Columbia three. And it's As we look at the numbers from that drive, that is a wear-it-down type of drive to open up the third quarter. And Falcons trying to keep it away from... Some of the dazzling weapons for Cornell and the Lions special teams unit laying the brick. Lions have three rushing scores in this game already. They give it to Ryan Young. He's got one. He's trying to fight his way for a second. We'll wait for a Bell airs it out. And Bell is able to hook up with his man, J.J. Jenkins. Talk about an exclam... The Canty out in motion. They flip it to Young. And Young in and out of traffic. And he's got open space. Ryan Young, a man on a mission. A stiff arm. And he gets all... And this one takes a strong bounce right into Columbia's hands. And they are going to run it back in for a score. And that is how you end the season in style.